Reebok, the cutting edge innovator in fitness, brings you three fresh new workouts. Reebok is the only fitness leader dedicated to the future of fitness. They've established an elite group of trainers called Reebok University. These trainers work together to bring you the newest trends in fitness programming. The exciting results of their research have led to the creation of rhythmic power, power blast, and intense moves. Rhythmic Power, starring Petra Kolber of Sweat Factory, is a tough aerobic workout based on dance moves and designed to keep you moving to the beat. Power Blast, starring Lisa Gaylord, is a hard-hitting aerobic workout based on moves found in boxing and kickboxing. Intense Moves, the brand new step workout starring Jen Miller, the originator of Step Reebok, is an advanced workout designed to bring you to the next level of Step Reebok. Also available, the three classic titles that started Step Reebok, the video, the power workout, and the best of Step TV. Rhythmic Power, Power Blast, and Intense Moves. Three new workouts from Reebok, the future of fitness. start the Step Reebok workout for the first time, be sure to fast forward to the instructional portion at the end of the tape. You'll find out how to get started, how to choose the correct step height for you, and learn how each step pattern is performed. Once you have viewed the entire instructional portion, rewind back to this spot and begin the workout. This first time preview system will allow you to proceed straight into the workout each time you use the tape. To easily return to this spot, Set your video counter to zero now. We're going to start marching with our right foot in the downbeat. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to take some arms into a four count movement. Let's take them to the side first. Ready? Side, up, side, and down. Again. Take them side. Up. Side, last time, side, up, side. Now let's grab some air, shrug your shoulders, roll them back and down, exhale, do it again. Shrug, roll them back and down, exhale, again. Shrug, roll them back and down, exhale, last time. Shrug, roll them back and down, exhale. Keep marching, marching arms. Eight, now take that march a little wider, all the way out to the side, right here, start with your arms in front, pull back for four, here we go. Four, three, Two, last one. Take those arms up above your head. Here we go. Four, three, two, last one. Arms down by your side. Reach right, then left. Right, left, right. Good. Four more. Four, three, two. Now both arms up. That's eight, seven. Good. Keep going. Four, three. Let's take the arms right to a chest press. Push out. Eight, seven. Good. Four more. Four, Three, two, take the arms to a cross. Eight, seven, good. Four more. Three, take the arms to elbow squeezes. Here. Four more. Four, three, two, arms press down. Eight, good. Four more. Now you're going to add something with your legs. This is 
Step touch, right foot to left. Right, left, right, left. Good, four more. Three, change the arms, row down. Keep going, four, three, arms overhead. Step again. 
center and down side touch side touch now we're going to speed it up a step side touch side touch a step side touch side touch this time add side lateral arms a step side lateral a step side lateral last time you're going to hold these side laterals in the floor hold this hold this Four more. Three, two, lift the heel. Good. Cross the arms in front. Four more. Three, two, knee up. Punch those crosses straight out in front. Take the arms to the side out. Here we go. Side out, put them all the way down. Four more. Four, three, two. Tap on the step. Here we go. Four more. Hands on your hips, keep the feet. Four, three, let's go to presses on the floor. Now the music's gonna slow down and we're gonna start to step. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, right foot up, here we go. Up, up, down, down. Watch your step, make sure you're stepping to the center. And we're gonna add some arms in, hands down by your side, Step curl, slow, four, three, two, last one. Take the arms up to shoulder raises. That's four, three, two, last one. Take the arms all the way above the head, overhead raises, four, three, two, last one. Arm side lateral raises, four, three, watch your step. Last one, hands on your hips, I'll count you down. Now here comes the change. Three, get ready. Two, now your left foot is gonna tap down, tap change, step left, good. Keep going. All right, let's add the arms back in, bicep curls. Here we go, four, three, two, last one. Take the arms to shoulder raises, four, three, Two, last one, arms above your head, four, three, two, last one, side lateral raises for four, three, two, last one, hands on your hips, counting you down, that's four, three, two, here comes the tap change, right foot tap change, step right, up, up, down, down. Good. Now we're going to do something a little bit different with the arms. We're going to do those bicep curls one arm at a time. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Two more. Last one. Arms up to shoulder range. Here we go. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Take the arms all the way up. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Side laterals fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, hands on your hips, counting you down for the change. Four, three, get ready for the change. Two more, last one, left foot, tap change, step left. That's it, good. Two more, let's add the arms back in, single bicep curls, left, right, left, right. That's three, two, Last one, take the arms to shoulders. Four, three, two more. Last one, take the arms all the way up and down. Four, three, two, last one. Side lateral fast for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hands on your hips, counting it down. Three, Two more, last one, right leg, tap, change, step right. Here we go, up, up, down, down, good. Now we're gonna put an arm combination together. We're gonna do those single bicep curls, right, left, here we go. This is three, two more, two, last one. Now two side laterals fast, right here. Good, do it again, biceps, right, left, that's right, left, down. Two, once again, 
Now two side laterals. Take the arms to shoulder range. Here we go. Up. Good. Again. Two side laterals. Shoulder range again. Right left. That's it. Watch your step. Both foot in the center. Two side laterals. Arms above your head. Here we go. Right left. Two. One. Two side laterals. Arms above your head once more. Three. Two. One. Two side laterals. Good. Hands on your hips. Counting it down. Three. Get ready for the tap change. Two. Ready? Left foot tap change. Step left. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. Good. Now you're going to do that same arm combination starting with the left hand this time. Bicep curls. Left, right. Left, right. One more. Now these two side laterals. Do it again. Biceps. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Two side laterals. Now to shoulder range. Three. Two. One. Two side laterals. Do it again. Shoulder range. Three. Two. One. Two side lateral. Take the arms above the head. Three. Two. One. Two side lateral. Do that again. Arms high. Three. Two. One. Two side lateral. Good. Hands on your hips. Here we go. Counting you down. That's four. Three. Two more. Last one. Right leg. Tap chain. Step right. Up, up, down, down. That's it. Good. Now I want you to move all the way over to the right side of your platform. Now we're going to travel from right to left. Keep the basic step. Three. Moving left. Two. One more. All the way to the left end. Now two jacks on the floor right here. Now start with the left foot. Basic traveling right. Three. Two. One more of these. Now two jacks on the floor this side. Good. Now right foot up. Basic for three. Traveling. Two. Now this time on the jacks, I want you to add side lateral arms. Good. Left foot up. Basic. Traveling back. Three. Two. One. Now two jacks on the floor right here. Now let's add that arm combination back in. Bicep. Right, left. Two. Once again. One. Two jacks on the floor right here. Now left arm, left foot, bicep. Three. Keep traveling with this basic step. Two. One more. Now two jacks on the floor with the side arms. Now right foot, shoulder raises. Three. Two. One more. All the way left side, two jacks on the floor right here. Left arm, left leg. Take it up. That's three. Two. One. Two jacks. Take these arms above your head for three. Three. Keep traveling. Two. One more. One. Two jacks. Left arm, left leg. Take it up. That's three. Two. One, two jacks right here. Now hands on your hips. Keep the feet. Right foot up. Three. And now this time on the jacks, you're going to turn to the right and face the wall. And you're going to go over the top for three. Here we go. Go back. Two. Three. Two jacks. Over the top. Again. One. Two. Three. Two jacks. Over the top with the arm. One. Two, three, two jacks. Go over the top again. Here we go. One, two, three, two jacks. Over the top. Here we go. One, go back. Two, again. Three, two jacks. Last time. Over. One. Now this time, two, one more over the top. We're going to do your two jacks. Face front again. Now face front. Left foot up. Left foot up. Basic. Good. Now you're going to come right to the center, and then you're going to take these feet wider, like in a V-step. Wide, wide. Now add the arms to follow the legs. Out, out. Four. In, in. Three. Two more. Two. Take the arms up high. Four. Four. Three. Two. Arms back out for four. Take it out. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Up, up, four, three, two, good, arms out to the side for two, two, one, arms up for two, two, arms to the side for two, two, one, 
arms up for two. two. Hands on your hips and count me down. That's four. Three. Two more. Get ready to change. Right foot tap down, step right, V step. That's out, out, in, in, out. Keep going with the feet. Get ready to add the arms. Everybody ready? Arms out, out, in, in. Here we go. Arms go up, up, down, down. Four. Three. Two. Arms go out, out, in, in again. That's four. Three. Two. Arms go up, up, down, down. Four. That's four. Three. Two. Arms go out, out, in, in for two. Again. Up, up, down, down. In, in. Two. One. Up, up, down, down. Two. Hands on your hips. Bring your feet in. Bring them in. That's three. You're right in the center. Two. Last one. Left foot. Tap, change. Step left. Up, up, down, down. Now we're going to change the step pattern. We're going to go into a knee up. We're going to do it real slow. The step left, lift right. Step, lift, down, down. Step. Lift, down, double time. Step, lift, down, step. That's it. Two. All right, let's add some arms. Right here, chest press and the knee up. Again. Again. Two. Again. Now after the chest press, press the arms down with the body. That's three. Two. Let's keep everything here. I'm going to turn the right knee out. Turn it out. Now the left knee. Now the right. Now the left. Travel all the way to the right. Now the left. And the right. See how we're taking one knee up? Let's take three knees in a row. Here we go. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Now see how everything is going to the front here? We're going to take everything to the side. Side arm, side leg. Three. Two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Three, two. Now let's take everything to the back. Keep your legs back, arms back, two. Again. Again. Now reach up in the middle this time. Reach up. Three, two. Good, reach up. Reach up. Three, two. Hands on your hips. Keep this leg. Now see how the legs go into the back each time? We're going to take our legs and do one each of each of those levers. We're going to go front, side, back. Here we go. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. Other side. Front, side. Let's add the arms to it. Here we go. Front, side, back. Reach up. Front, side, back. Reach up. Reach up. Front, side, back, reach up. Front, side, hands on your hips, keep the legs. Front, side, back, once more. Front, now let's take these legs into single knees. One knee up over here. Go back. Again. Once more. Now take the knee up to a tap up. Here we go. Change sides. That's three, two more. Two. Now go back over to the right side and hold this tap up, tap down. Good, you're gonna add the arms in. Now if you wanna take the intensity up here, you can take it into a knee up, knee up. Four, three. That's it, two more. Two. Take this knee up to a front kick, kick your leg. Kick, kick. Now let's take this leg into a kick with a lunge back, lunge back. Lunge back, kick, lunge back, kick. Now just the kick with no lunge. No lunge. Go back to the knee up, knee up. Two more, two. 
Now go back to a tap up, tap down. Four, get ready, because we're gonna change sides. Three, two, last one. Now go to the left side and hold the tap up, tap down. Stay here. Tap, tap. Take it to a knee up, here we go. Knee, knee, knee. Take it to a kick. Kick. Four. Kick. Three. Kick. Two. Kick. Now kick with a lunge back on the floor. Lunge back. Lunge back. Two. Good. Now just go back to the kick with no lunge back. Knee up for four. Four. Three. Two, last one, tap up, tap down, here we go, tap up. Now move backwards, move backwards, hands at your side, like that, curls and side laterals. One, two, one more of these, and we're gonna do that turn, step slow. Up, turn, down, tap up, tap down. One, two, three, I'm gonna turn slow, ready? Up, up. Tap up, tap down. Two, three. Now let's reach up and turn fast. Tap up, tap down for three. One, two, three. Reach up and turn fast. Tap up, tap down for one. Reach up and turn. Tap up, tap down for one. Reach up and turn. Tap up, tap down for one. Reach up and turn. Tap up, tap down for one. Turn fast. Now, no tap up, tap down. Just keep turning. Turn, turn, turn. Good. Keep going. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. This time, after the reach up, punch with the front arm. Punch here. Reach and punch. Good. See what you're doing in the middle? You're reaching up. Two. Now instead of reaching up in the middle, crisscross in the middle. Crisscross. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Watch your step. Four more. Three. See these crisscrosses? They're gonna change to an upright row. Last crisscross, upright row. Pull up, pull up. Pull. And punch. Pull. 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 Four more of these. Four. on your hips, keep your feet. Four more. Three. Now we're going to add a directional change here. One more turn step, and then we're going to go over the top. Ready? Over the top. Over the top. Go back over. This way. Back over. Arms here. Punch down when you go over. Punch down. Punch down. Punch down. Now when you go over, touch the heel on top. Heel on top. Heel on top. Good. Take the heel on top into a knee up. Knee up. Knee up. Knee up. Good. Four more like that. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to take this single knee up into three lifts. We're going to go knee, leg curl, knee. Ready? Knee, leg curl, knee. Over the top. Do it again. Knee, leg curl, knee up. Over the top. Knee up. Leg curl, knee up, over the top. Knee up, leg curl, knee up, over the top. Knee up, leg curl, knee up, over the top. Knee up, leg curl. Now watch the hands on this knee up. They go up and down. Up, down, up, over the top. Up, down, up, over the top. Up, down, over. March on top. Let's go to presses. Okay, now it's time to take a heart rate. Find your pulse either on the wrist or on the side of your neck. Ready? Count. Stop. 
Check the chart on your screen. Find your age and follow it over to the column where you'll see your target heart rate range. Make sure you fall into that target heart rate range before you rejoin the program. Back to these presses, six, five, four more of these. I'm gonna start lunges with the left leg. Here we go. Push, push off the forefoot. Four more, four, three, two. Add side punch arms, eight, six. Four more, four, three. Take these same arms up, punch them up. Floor is glass, four more, three. Take these same arms, figure eight. Eight, six, four more, three. Same arms pressed from the chin. Eight, six, four more, four, three. Let's go back to side punch arms, ready? Four, three, two. Take these same arms up. Four, three, two. Same arms, figure eight. Three, two, arms press down. Four, three, two, punch for two. Good, now take these arms up for two. Two, figure eight for two. Press down for two. Let's do that again, punch for two. Take it up for two. Two, figure eight for two. Press it down for two. Good, hands on your hips, keep your legs. That's eight, seven, six. Now four more, we're gonna go to a straddle down with the left leg. Two more. Here we go, straddle down, left leg, that's down, down, up, up, down. Good, we're gonna add some arms. Put your hands at your shoulders one at a time, follow the legs. Here we go, down, and down, and down. Last one, now let's take those arms to the side, here we go. That's out, and out, out. One more, now let's take these arms up, up. Up, up, now back to the side, four, three, watch your step, abdominals tight, one more of these, now let's take these arms back down for four, that's four, three, two, last one, hands on your hips, keep the legs, that's four, now get ready because we're going to tap up with the right leg on top of the step and change direction to a straddle down right, ready, here we go, tap up, chain, right leg down. Good, down, and down. All right, let's add the arms, the shoulders, press them down. Press, press, press. All right, let's take these same arms out to the side. That's four, three, two. Take these same arms up above your head for four. That's four, three, two more. Chest out, shoulders back. Take these arms back to the side for four. That's four, three, two. Last one, take the arms back down for four. Four, three, two. Last one, hands on your hips, counting you down. That's four. Now get ready, because we're gonna do lunges now with the right leg, two more. You ready? Good, lunge step, here we go. Four, three. Now we're gonna do a combination. It's a single, single, double. It's one here, one here. Now two down, right here. Singles, singles, now doubles. Do it again. Single, single, doubles. Do it again. Single, single, double. Now add side punch arms. Single, single, double. Do it again, same arms. Single, single, double. Same arms, do it again. Single, single. Double, stand up straight, do it again. Single, single, double. Take these same arms up, here we go. Single, single, double, do it again. Single, single, double, do it again. Single, single, double, do it again. Single, single, double. Arms back to the side. Single, single, double, do it again. Single, single, take these arms back up, here we go. Single, single, double. Last time for the arms. Single, single, doubles. Hands on your hips, keep the feet. Single, single, doubles. One more time. Single, single, double. Now go back to straight singles for eight. Eight, 
seven. Watch your step. Stand up straight. Four more of these, and we go back into a straddle down with the right leg. Ready? Not yet. Do it now. Straddle down. Down. Up. Down. Pump the arms. Down. Down. Four more. Four. Now get ready, because we're going to have the left leg on top to change sides. Are you ready? Here we go. Tap, change, left. Down. Good. Keep going. Down. Pump those arms. Stand up straight. Watch your step. Four more of these. Four. Get ready because you're going to tap the right leg on top and change sides again. Two. Here it comes. Right leg. Tap, change. Straddle down. Down. That's three. Two more. And then you're going to tap the left leg on top and change again. You ready? Here we go. Tap left. Take it down. Down. Three. Two. Now tap the right leg up. Ready? Tap it up. Change. Down for two. Down. Now the left leg on top. Tap change. Down. Now the right leg on top. Tap change. Now the left leg on top. Tap change. Now keep tapping. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. Good. Now change the tap to a knee up. Knee up. Do it again. Knee up. Knee up. Good. Now put your hands out in front of your body and pull back on the knee up. Ready? Pull. Do it again. Pull. Do it again. Pull. Watch your step. Pull it. Now this time after the pull, you're going to do a mid-row in the middle. Ready? Mid-row here. Pull. Mid-row. Pull. Pull. Four more of these. Three. Two. All right. Now instead of the single knee up, we're going to go to a three knee repeater. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Three. Two. Change sides. Three. Two. Change sides. Watch your step. Three, two, change sides. Stand up straight. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Step to the center. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. One more with the arms. Three, two, change sides. Just the legs. Three, two, change sides. Three, two, change sides. Now go back to one knee up, just one knee up. Now go to the other side, one knee up. Good. Two more of these, and then you're going to go into a straddle down with the right foot. One more knee up. Now straddle down, down, up, up. Keep going. All right, one more of these. Now let's march on top. March on top right here. Here we go. March. March. Okay, let's take a heart rate right here. Find your pulse either on the wrist or on the side of your neck. Ready? Count. Stop. Check the chart on your screen. Find your age and follow it over to the column where you'll see your target heart rate range. Make sure you fall into that target heart rate range before you rejoin the program. Okay, back to a march on the right foot. We're going to take four deep breaths, everybody. Here we go. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Do it again. Watch your step. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, right here. Inhale. Exhale. Now march right here for eight on top, and we're going to march to the floor for eight when I tell you to. Ready? March to the floor. Eight. Good. Now we're going to go back to the top for eight. Do it now. Eight. Good. Stay here. Now we're going to go to the floor for eight. Eight. Now we're going to go back to the top for four. Do it now. Four of these. Now to the floor. Go to the top. Go to the floor. Now left foot up twice, basic step. Ready? Once, twice. Now squat to the left, big one. Squat to the right. Now right foot up twice, basic. One, two. Now squat to the right. Squat to the left. Now left foot up basic twice. Ready? One, squat to the left. Squat to the right. Right foot up twice. Ready? Up, up. Squat to the right. Now squat to the left. And we're going to tap on top. Right foot first. Tap on the step. Eight. Seven. Good. Keep going. Four more. Four. Three. Hands up by your shoulders. Press down and tap. Down. Down. Good. Four more of these. Four. And then we're going to go to step close on the floor. Step close right here. Step. Close. Close. Now tap on top of the step for four. Three. Two. Now step on top for four. Four. Three. Two, step close on the floor. Four, three, two, on top. Two of these on the 
floor for two. On the top for two. On the floor. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. Take the arms and change them to a row down. Now. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold the legs. Stay there. Roll the shoulders. Four, three, two, bigger rolls. That's eight, seven, good. Abdominals tight, chest out, shoulders back. Two more of these. Leave your hands on your thighs. Keep the legs side to side. Seven. Good. Six more. Abdominals tight. And then we're going to hold it in the center and take two deep breaths right here. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're ready for isolation. All right, now we're going to go into the push-up section. Everybody come down in their steps. Hands on the outside like so, about shoulder width apart, either on your knees or on your feet. Abdominals tight, back flat. Let's do eight. Ready? Now. Seven. Good. Keep your abdominals tight. I want you to flow through the movement. Don't lock the elbows on this. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one. Good. Now you're going to stretch back. Bend your knees and stretch back with your hands on top of the step. Let your head just fall through your arms there, stretching through the spine and through the chest right here. Stay there. Four more. Three. Two. All right. Come back up. Ready for our second set, either on your knees or on your feet. Abdominals tight. I'll count you down. Three. Two. Here we go. Eight. Remember, don't lock the elbows. Flow through the movement. Go as deep as you can, but you don't have to go all the way down if you can't. Just go as far as you can. Two more of these. Two. Last one. Good. Stretch back again. Hands on front. Stretch back through the spine and through your chest. Head and neck in a neutral position. Good. Stay there. Four more. Three. Two. All right. Coming back up to the last step. Hands on the outside again. Hands on the outside, into position, abdominals tight. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Abdominals tight. Moving through the elbows, not locking them here. Four more. Keep that back flat. Three. Don't arch. Two. Last one. Good. Stretch back right here for the last time. Stretch back. Good. Three sets of push-ups. Stay there. Stretching through the spine and the chest here. All right, come on back up. Now let's go to the front of our steps and sit down for tricep dips. All right, everybody just have a seat on the step. Hands about hip width apart on the outside of your hips there. Pull about three inches out from the step here. Buttocks pretty close, feet right out in front, toes in front of the knees. We're going to take these tricep dips down for eight. Don't go too far down now. Don't stretch past where it hurts. Here we go. Ready? Eight. Seven. Good. Not too far down. Make sure you stay close to your step. You can actually come all the way up through the elbows here. Three, two, one more. Good, have a seat. Relax. Now bring this right arm over and stretch the tricep here with your hand behind the elbow. Hold the stretch. Good, shake it out. Stretch. Pull through. Shake it out, let's do it again. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Good. If you want to make it a little tougher, you can slide your feet out. Four more. Stay close to the platform. Two. Last one. Have a seat. Sit there and shake it out. Now you're going to bring your right arm above your head. And pull the elbow toward the center of the back of your head, holding that stretch. Knees relaxed. Good. Shake it out. Other arm. Pull to the back. Stretch. All right, shake it out. All right, last set. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Seven. Good. Remember, you don't have to go too far down, and you can stretch your feet out a little farther in front if you want. Three. Two more. Two. Last one. Have a seat on the step. Good. Shake it out. Hands behind you. Lace your fingers, and let's pull and stretch through the chest right there. Relax the legs. Good. Shake it out. All right, swing your feet around. Let's have a seat 
on the floor behind their steps. Put your feet right up on top of the steps. Let's do some abdominal work here. Hands behind your head when you lie down. Back's flat. And remember, you're supporting your head, but you're gonna lift with your shoulders, not your elbows. Back tight to the floor. We're gonna lift up and down. And you're gonna lift with your shoulders when you do this. You ready? Here we go. Up, release, up, release, up, release. Remember to breathe out on the exertion here. Breathe and come up as high as you can each time. Two more. Last one. Good, relax, cross your hands over your chest, take a deep breath, exhale. Hands back, and we're gonna come up for three little counts. Ready? One, two, three, back down. One, two, three, back down. One, remember, support your head, but don't lift with your elbows here. Three counts. One, two, three, back down. One, two, three, Keep going, two, three, two more like that. One, two, three, again. One, two, relax, hands across over your chest. Take a deep breath, inhale, and then we're gonna go into rotation. Place your hands behind your head again, and this time, knees a little bit farther apart. You're gonna come over and stretch this elbow over to the other knee. Ready, and. Curl, and down, again, curl, again, curl, again, curl, now the other side, other arm, ready, curl, again, curl, remember the elbow doesn't do the work with the shoulders, curl, again, curl, now relax. Cross your hands over your chest, take a deep breath, and exhale. Okay, hands out to the side here. Just roll your knees over to one side. Stay there. Good. Now roll your knees over to this side. And relax. Good. Now, just roll over here. And sit up, rock and roll. Hands behind the knee. Good. All right, now just come on right up on top of your step here and have a seat. Now you're just gonna reach under your legs, grab your elbows, and you're gonna shrug your shoulders at the same time. Ready? Squeeze and shrug. Now, pull. Ready? Good, stay there. Good, and release. Now you're just gonna come around, place this arm over this knee. You're gonna stretch through the back here, take the head over to the side. Stay there. Two more. Good. Now release, relax, shake it out. Go around to the other side. Turn and stretch against your leg. Stretching your low back. Stay there. Stay there. Good. All right. Come back to the center. Legs apart. Turn around, put one foot on top of the step, and let's do some hamstring stretches here. Place your hands on top of your thigh, hold it there, abdominals tight, the back of your leg is feeling the stretch here, good, now roll it up, and it's the hip flexor right here that's feeling the stretch, right there where your hand is, good, now switch feet, hamstring stretch this leg, hold it down, stay there. Good, all right, now roll up into a hip flexor stretch. Okay, right there where your hand is, stay there. All right, now just stand up on top of the step, turn around and face front, take two deep breaths, here we go. Inhale, exhale, again, inhale, and exhale. All right, that's it. Before we start the workout, here are some things you'll need to know about step training. First, you'll need to select the appropriate step height for your workout. The higher you elevate the step, the more intense your workout will be. If you've been exercising regularly, but you are just beginning step training, set your step at 6 inches. 
If you've been doing step training for a while and are looking for a more intense workout, set the step at 8 inches. If you're a really experienced step trainer, you can go up to 10 inches for a very intense workout. Select the step height that's right for your current level of fitness. Don't overdo it. Step training is a great workout at any height. Now, we're ready to set up your step. First, make sure that you have plenty of room on all sides of the step. When you get into the workout, you'll need some space. Make sure you've assembled your step correctly. To check the stability of your step, place one foot on top and gently rock it back and forth. A correctly set up step will not move when you do this. When your step is locked into place, you're ready to begin. Your step is designed with a unique surface for maximum safety while working out. It's very important for you to understand the correct way to step on and off the platform. When stepping onto the platform, always step to the center making sure that your whole foot lands on top of the step. When stepping down, step close to the platform. Step toe to heel, making sure that your heel contacts the floor. The only time your heel shouldn't touch the floor is when you're doing repeaters or lunge steps like this. Then you'll simply push from the forefoot. Keep your knees relaxed. Don't hyperextend them and don't lock them when you step up. Knee placement is very crucial. Never exceed a 90 degree angle. Try to keep the knee centered over the foot. And watch your step. It's very important that you have proper postural alignment. Abdominals tight, chest up, shoulders back, head and neck in a neutral position. Lean from your ankles, not from your hips. Always keep your back straight. Finally, relax and step quietly as you would when going upstairs. In all step workouts, there are four step pattern categories. The first one is basic step. The next category is lift steps. The next category is lunge steps. And the last category is tap steps. Now let's review the step patterns you'll be using today. The first step pattern is a basic step. It goes up, up, down, down. To change lead legs on this step pattern, you'll simply do a tap change. Watch here. Tap change, and then you'll start leading on the opposite leg. The next step pattern is a V-step. It's just like the basic step, except it goes a little bit wider. And to change on this step pattern to the other leg, you simply tap down, change, and go the other direction. The next step pattern is a knee up. Watch. Step, knee up, down, down. Other leg steps, knee up, down, down. Here it is in actual time. These lift steps can vary. Watch. This is a side leg lift. Here's a leg curl behind you. And here's a front kick. Alternating feet each time you step up. This is a repeater. You're going to step and lift a leg three times quickly. One, two, three. Then change and do it again. One, two, three. Repeaters can be done in a lot of different directions. Here's a tap up, tap down. Tap up, tap down. Tap up, tap down. A turn step is the trickiest of all step patterns. Watch my feet standing to the side of the step. Step wide, turn around into the step as you turn, and come down facing the opposite direction. Again, step wide, turn into the step, turn around on the same side, finishing facing the opposite direction. Over the top is pretty simple, it looks like this. Step up, up, down, tap, and back over the top again. Lunge steps look like this. Today we'll be doing a side lunge, which is pushing off the forefoot from the top, side to side. This is a straddle down. It's simply a basic step going down, down, up, up. To change lead legs on the straddle down, you'll be going down, down, up, up, down, down, up, tap, up to change, then reverse it. Now during the workout, we'll be doing some combinations that include a soft jack. The low impact version of this will be a side to side step. So if you don't wish to do the jack, you can do this step instead. 
On the over-the-top steps, you can step across, or for more intensity, you can lift over the top. You choose. The lift is a little bit more difficult. And on the lunges, if you stay grounded and just lift the heel to turn on the forefoot, it won't be as intense as this, which makes it a little bit tougher. Now, when you're stepping, you're going to sweat a lot, so it's important to drink plenty of fluids during the workout to make up for perspiration loss. Whenever you feel like a drink, take one. If you have to, step in place until you've taken a drink and then rejoin the workout when you're ready. To get maximum effect from your workout, you'll need to be exercising within your target heart range. This chart shows you the range you should be in. At different times during the workout, I'll be stopping so you can check your heart rate. To locate your pulse, place your first two fingers either on your wrist like this or at the side of your neck. We'll count for 10 seconds and see how you're doing. If you're above your target heart rate range, you may be working too hard. Lower your step or take a break once in a while, approximately every 10 minutes. You beginners can perform all the step patterns in place on the floor if you need a breather. If you're below your target heart rate, you might want to raise the step to the next height. It's important that you exercise at your own pace, especially if you're just beginning. If you need to catch your breath or get a drink, take a break by stepping in place in front of your step, but never stop moving your feet completely. And remember, you can always lower your step in the middle of the workout to decrease the intensity. Always exercise according to your fitness level. Gauge yourself so you don't overdo it. Whatever your level of fitness, step training is a fantastic workout, and the more you do it, the better you'll get. For more information on Step Reebok programs and products, please call toll-free 1-800-843-4444.